Nigeria state government has reacted to reported skirmishes between headsmen and farmers in Isikwato area of the state. The government in a statement said by State Commissioner for Information, Chief John Okiyi Kalu, frowned at the destruction of farmlands in the state by headers, grazing openly in violation of the existing laws of the state and the country, but condemned in its entirety the alleged killing of cows by some individuals in the state. The government whose reaction comes in the wake of the reported skirmishes between headsmen and men of the Eastern Security Network, the security outfits formed by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, said it had activated all relevant components of the state's security architecture to ensure the safety of lives and property of law-abiding citizens, residents, and visitors to the state. Abia state government wishes to condemn in its entirety the recent destruction of farmlands by cows grazing openly in violation of extant laws of the state and Nigeria, the commissioner said. It also condemns without reservations the activities of criminal headsmen suspected to have masterminded recent brazen kidnap of innocent citizens around Abia North Senatorial District and Senatorial Zone of the state. Consequently, Governor Okezie Ipazu has directed security agents in the state to bring to justice all those involved in the criminal activities. Government also frowns seriously at the one-ton destruction of cows by yet to be identified individuals whose aim is to exacerbate already existing tensions. Government has fully activated all relevant components of the state security architecture to ensure the safety of lives and property of law-abiding citizens, residents, and visitors to the state. The government called on all residents of the state to go about their legitimate businesses without fear as according to it it will stop at nothing to protect every law abiding resident we therefore call on the people to go about their legitimate businesses without fear as government is on top of the situation and will spare nothing in protecting abians kalu said Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The Abia state government finally spoke out in the reaction to the killing of cows and the issue that happened between the men of the Eastern Security Network and uh, the Fulani headers in Isikwato in Abia state. The government has condemned the wanton killing and destruction of farm produce and farm lands by the headsmen and their cattle, saying that it is unacceptable. And at the same time, it has also condemned the killing of cows by some individuals in the states. Well, be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular issue? It is not out of place that such condemnation is coming from the government. And that is what you reportedly would expect to hear from the government. But beyond that, it is worthy of note that the activities of the headsmen 
has wrecked havoc, has caused so much pain and even losses, financial losses and other losses to the people of the state. And it is not out of place if the people or the community decided to uh, rescue themselves and uh, prevent such happenings from reoccurring all over again. But however, with the way things are going and with what is being uh, said, uh, what is happening around the country, one cannot entirely blame the people of the community for rising up to the occasion to defend themselves or to resist the Fulani headsmen and their cattles from uh, the wanton destruction that they have continued to cause the people of the region. But however, it is sad and unfortunate, and um, it is really on head of and should not be uh, allowed to happen. So the people will not have to fold their hands. They will need to take actions as well to fight for themselves. So however, it remains to be seen how things will unfold on this particular issue. But however, it is important to note that the Eastern Security Network personnel, as led by Nambekanu, have made promises that they will enforce the anti-grazing law of the land by the government to ensure that the Fulani headsmen and the killer headsmen are flushed out of the um, bushes and forest of the southeast region. And that will definitely be coming to the people of the community uh, of the eastern region as a good news that they have been expecting. It is also worthy of note that these efforts by the eastern security network personnel will go a long way to um, to forestall further uh, clashes or occurrences between the farmers and the herders, as once the Fulani headsmen have been flushed out of the region, they would no longer have access to the forest and bushes and would no longer disturb the indigenous people of the communities who will no longer have any to fear any clash between them and the headsmen. Nabdekano has also issued a stern warning to the Fulani headsmen who are living in the bushes and forests that they must leave the bushes and forests and come out into the town and rent houses or rent accommodation and live among people as other tribes and ethnic groups do. So this is a welcome idea and to a very large extent will go a long way in curbing the excesses of the Fulani headsmen and that will reduce the crisis or eliminate the crisis uh, that these particular people have uh, posed or the threats that they have posed to the indigenous people of the communities. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, well, drop by at the comment section, let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.